Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hello guys. Hi guys. And welcome back to this new episode of What's Up Jude. So we are super happy to be back for another episode, of course. And today we wanted to talk about what are the best moments in our lives. So that's what we're yeah, going to do right now. Yeah, just like chill moment. Like, yeah. Not a really deep topic, but... Anyway, so uh, just wanted to say that right now we are the 26th of February and it is very, very sunny outside. Yeah, and spring is coming. Yeah, I'm super happy about that. Uh, not about the allergies that are coming, but <laughs> yeah, seeing all the flowers bloom and, you know, it's going to be... Sun, a- just, just the sun. And, uh, yes, sun also. You know, sunset also. Sunsets. And the fact that the days are longer. Because yeah. In winter, when it is dark outside, it's, it is a little bit depressing. So, yeah. Especially when you have um, home classes. Yeah, online classes... At 7, not 7, uh, 5 p.m. are are really tough, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. So, let's go into the topic of today. And um, do you want to start? Oh, I'm, I'm going to start for this one. Whatever. Well, I'm going to start then. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the best moments that I lived was uh, in 2017 when I was in vacation with my family. Uh, back on an island called Saint Martin. I don't know if I said <laughs> I said the name right, but yeah, it is in the Caribbean. And you know, we have the we had like the beach, and on the beach we had this um, night concert. And every night you had a different um, how do you say that artist? Yeah, so that was pretty cool to to just chill with the fam. Um, sounds like a sounds like a a Wattpad story movie, yeah. But that was <laughs> at the time I was like, life is a movie, you know, <laughs> like life is really a movie with a uh, with a campfire and yeah, like, I'm really <laughs> happy to be here because it it was my first time actually in this yeah. island, and um, we had book and hotel hotel yeah hotel, I don't know how to pronounce this this word but it was really great and uh, i had the chance the chance sorry to practice my english because we were on the um, the american side the netherlands side so everything was like america like the us but on a on a high island so that was pretty cool have have you ever been no i wish but uh right now it's kind of complicated but uh yeah i hope i can i could go of course. Together, maybe, and you you will be like, oh yeah. Guide. So here is a good place, you know, for eating. I don't know what, but <laughs> I really miss going there because um, I was supposed to go there last last year, but uh, unfortunately we didn't go because of the virus. But the atmosphere is really like everything is real relaxing there. You, oh, yeah. you don't feel stressed. Um, people are chill. People are just living their best life and uh, lives. Life? I don't know. You didn't understand, life. guys. Yeah. And um, of course, I have my family there, the other part of my family. So, yeah. So that was a great moment to, to live. What is your one of your best moments, though? Okay. That is probably my best moment from far. Um, it was my 16th birthday, um, so let just... That was ages ago. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> that was three years ago, but um, that was huge because uh, we were both in high school and in France we have two weeks in February for holidays. Oh, yeah. And I went to Los Angeles with my mom. Just yeah. that, you know, just say, just say that I went to Los Angeles. First, that is a dream. Yeah, and but also I warned nobody about this. I don't know why. Just you know my secrets. And I remember that when I sent a picture to my friends, they were like, "What the heck? You're in LA?" And I'm like, "Yeah, but yesterday you were in Paris." I was like, "Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> like she did actually did that also for uh dubai because yeah. I, i was texting her i don't know one day and and then she's like sorry oh yeah i can tired. remember she and was, was like she, the heck? You, yeah you were like okay i need to revise my lesson into... and she's here in dubai and i was like he didn't tell me you were going to dubai and, <laughs> yeah i sent you a picture and you were like what I, I, actually, I can't remember that was so funny was it also the year after you went to los angeles because i think it, it was also yeah. february and uh, no um the emirates uh that was in april okay but okay. i think it was in 2019 okay and this story was in 2018 all right So let's go back to the story though. Yeah, uh, this trip so was booked since the summer before. So I just kept the secret, kept the secret, sorry. Um, okay, this moment was iconic because while it was my birthday in France, we were still the day before in LA, okay? Yeah. So my 16th birthday took place for actually two days because the day in France and the day in LA, you know? So you did spend one, your birthday in the plane, like while going to... No, it was not in the plane, I was in LA, but I day knew before that it was my birthday in France, even okay. if it was not the day in LA, you know? Uh, so it was 3 p.m. in LA, and I remember that, you know, um, in France it was midnight, so it was my birthday, and... Um, My mom and I were at the Getty Center in LA, and I remember just taking a minute to realize how much lucky I was, you know, my 16th birthday, I was with my mom in LA, huge thing, and um, yeah, it was just crazy, and I remember also that I can't cook, you know, for my birthday, because I was not at home, and so we had... Um, an hamburger with a little french fry uh, as, as a, a candle as a candle yeah, yeah that was funny Or... so that's it and i that also was... uh, yeah go go ahead no i was just saying that was probably my best moment because i feel like 16 being 16 in the us is a huge thing so maybe mm -hmm. your mom wanted you to feel like like the whole 16 thing but in the us because Being 16 in, Fr in France or in other part of the world, yeah, it's not that big. It's like more 18 years old going on your uh, adult life, but 16 mm. is just a... a I, I, I don't know if, you know, the, the number 16 was really important just being there uh, in LA with my mom. That was just the the thing you know that was uh, incredible my 16th birthday um i spent it at home actually yeah i think it was a vacation too but yeah we didn't do a big thing you know so yeah actually i don't do big things for my birthday This yeah me too <laughs> birthdays <laughs> sorry <laughs> but like so, the, thing, yeah. the thing i want to do is spend spend my birthday in At Disneyland, yeah. Oh, I want to do that. But yeah, not not this year. So anyway, uh, that was your first best moment. Yeah. Let's go to another best moment uh, for me. So in 2018, my brother went um, to a school school trip. I don't know where. I don't. I can't remember. But uh, the week he was gone, my mom decided, like, um, I would say, sur un coup de tête, but I don't know how to say that in, in English, that we're going to get a cat, you know? And uh, I was like, what? We're going to get a cat? Like, you've never... Like, she, she has always declined the idea that she wanted to get a, a pet. Oh, so, like, just uh, one second she decided to... Because um, someone at her work um had this friend who had uh kittens and she like she didn't want to you know get rid of them she, so she wanted yeah. to 
give the kitten to some families that will take care of them and cherish cherish them and love them and my mom was like yeah they're cute and i was like so mom you're you're changing your mind right now and i was like okay so i was in class i remember i was in history class and uh, she sent me a, a text message <laughs> <laughs> and she's like so which one do you want and i was like what do you mean and she's like we're, get, we're getting a cat and my brother uh, always wanted to have a cat because he i don't know like he really likes he really like he really likes sorry cats and um so we decided to get one and now it's been three years yeah three years and we are really happy and um i filmed this moment because uh when he, he went back um, home we show him yeah we show him like the cat and he was like wow what is that because it was really 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 like um small and i almost like not gonna lie almost cried like if you see the video i'm like yeah this Aww. is our cat like and i really i like i barely cried you know you know but um seeing my brother touched was like really meaningful for me and yeah. that is one of like my best best moment in life that actually like mark yeah mark impact my spirit, yeah impact my 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 everyday life actually because yeah. the cat is still there sleeping on my bed right now <laughs> and, and sometimes you can hear yeah. uh yeah her her here here her yeah hira <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the English today, by the way. So yeah, getting a, getting a cat was um, a pretty big moment in my life. Touch, that emotion. Was a, yeah, emotion. And that was a really long story just for saying that. No, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we need detail, you know. Details. Yeah, details. Matter. This is going uh, to be the outline, details matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Anyway, so what's yours? Mine. Uh, so it was in December 2019. Before yeah. all this year, I was learning to drive uh, almost the end of my first semester at college. And OK, so I was supposed to go to Disneyland, actually um and going <laughs> yeah we get it uh and see all this christmas spirit um but my mother couldn't so i was sad you know but um then bang my dad came into my room and <laughs> he said like do you want to see your grandparents just like that and just to let you know dudes that my they 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 live four or five hour hours away from mm. where I live, so we don't see them often, like just twice, twice a year. And he said, "Like, yeah, do you want to see your grandparents?" And I was like, "Yeah, like, what? Is that even I a question?" <laughs> yeah, I can't understand. And um, he said, "Yeah, explain me. Well, uh, I'm going to just see them." not telling them you know so yeah so they were right. that was a surprise for them too exactly and so i drove yeah i drove um well it's supposed to be five four hours but paris traffic you know so it's been six hours oh my god six hours yeah and i you know i didn't pass my travel license i just learn to drive yeah because so, in france like you can drive even if you don't have your driver li license but with um someone yeah with uh, a someone who was yeah someone has to get to get uh five years, five years of... yeah that's and so that was my dad and so i drove for six hours that was pretty long especially with paris traffic but okay and uh, then uh, we showed up just like that and my grandparents were just so happy and uh, my grandmother cried Aww. of course 
emotion again. I don't like seeing my family members. Uh, yeah, but when you cry for a good reason. You yeah. Know? I remember she was like, oh my God, what are you doing here? <laughs> that was so funny. Are you real? <laughs> really you? And my grandfather was like, what? No, that was... Gonna process the, the it's thing. not my son, you know, he can't be here. He works. No. No. <laughs> Taking a day off to see you guys. Yeah. That's, That's sweet. That's cool. really sweet. Wish I could like do that, but my um, one of like both of my grandmothers, they live far away, like actually in the Caribbean, so and in South America. So <laughs> take a plane and <laughs> gotta take the plane for eight hours. So yeah. Long surprise, huh? <laughs> Long surprise. <laughs> gotta plan this ahead, not two days <laughs> before. So that's okay. sweet. Yeah. I have a meme inside my head right now. So I'm not gonna... That is your whole life. You yeah. Meme. My life is a meme. I'm, every time we talk with Leslie, I'm like, yeah. yeah oh my God. This word, this word remember me of this video. And I. It's I always, it's always, always videos from TikTok. Always. Not always. Sometimes it is K pop videos. Yeah, but. Well, often, no. <laughs> often. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the fact that I don't even have TikTok, you know, that's... Anyway. Yeah. That's... You just watch uh, on IG, IG, you know, yeah. some reels that are also TikTok. Subscribes on, uh, on our IG, guys. Good transition. <laughs> so we have my G, actually. So <laughs> What's up, dude, pod? And if you want to get connected to us, you can subscribe and follow to this podcast but also the IG. So yeah, guys, going back to the top <laughs> of our best moment in life. Yeah. So, the other one for me is like a general thing. It's going to concert. First, you get the tickets. That's really exciting. Especially when you, you, you get to have your tickets. You fight for your tickets. You fight like, it's like <laughs> you're fighting for your life. You've got yeah. your tickets. Then you wait six months or one maybe year. more you know i got i got tickets for my 18th birthday and i'm still waiting because of the pandemic i like the weekend i'm waiting you so yeah anyway in 2022 <laughs> uh, fully yeah. um so you got your ticket you you are waiting and the week before you're like oh my god gotta choose the outfit gotta choose <laughs> my bag gotta um empty my my phone and, storage and also fans project if there yeah is. fans project if you if you have one and then you got you get to the venue and the atmosphere is oh so my particular and you're like oh so this is happening i'm seeing this artist in live and so i'm going to tell like the <laughs> the story of when i did a one weekend okay just something. just one one thing you always laugh before telling us your story that I is i don't know i'm just really happy <laughs> right now yeah um so uh it was back in 2019 yeah it was in november and um oh just before that i know leslie i know <laughs> just before that like um i had tickets for love l-a-u-v uh, the artist and um i don't know two weeks after leslie is like so we're going to see the vamps or not and i'm like yeah of course i uh, just no I, I was going to see the vamps i was just asking if you were with me or not yeah yeah so or not and i was like yeah i want to go so just checking the date the dates they're coming to friends and i'm like you know what leslie like i almost missed the concert because it was the the day after love yeah so so she spent the whole weekend uh with concerts yeah so that was really mm -hmm. fun so yeah i got to see love and actually it was a pretty small venue so i was like not that far from the how do you say Artists? it the scene like the uh, stage yeah. okay. the stage yeah the stage and um all people there were really friendly people i got yeah. to meet uh, some nice people that I still talk with, actually. And um, I was with Loiva. 
Go check always, the episode four. Always low Eva. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stop doing like <laughs> yeah advertisement like that anyway. So yeah, and then the day after, I oh, was with Le- Leslie and we we saw the vamps, and that's that is a whole process. Like we need to. I don't know. <laughs> Can you remember how we were when we were waiting? In the line, oh my gosh, the line was so, so long. And yeah, it was so great. it was also, it was all in Paris and the weather was not that good. And it was, it was cold. It was November yeah. and we spent hours outside and we run just when it opened. Yeah. So that was really, really fun. And I remember... <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> like for this concert actually my outfit was trash. <laughs> trash AF because Ooh. the weather was bad so I'm not going to like show up in, you know, skirts and things like that. So yeah. just I was with my jean and my my boots. Yeah, so that and was a big bag also. Yeah, because you know, actually not a big bag because I <laughs> <laughs> I I gave my other bag to Loiva so she could she can go back to my home or yeah okay that was that was okay. So but yeah, I also like when concerts are not you know too big because you have the opportunity to see artists before, uh you know when they yeah, came and out and read, yeah. from the bus or just you know when the bus yeah, came out. I, we missed it because we were far yeah. away. Oh my god. But that's okay. okay. That's okay. But yeah, big concerts are also fun because Yeah, you can feel this energy and you can meet also people people who have the you same share thing. the same things yeah. and same I was I was about to say values, but that's <laughs> that's not the word. <laughs> yeah, we the energies. Energy, sorry is um, really fun and I wish for everyone to experience this once in his or her life. So yeah. Yeah, sure. After all this thing. I really wish I can go back to concert like... Yeah. I miss that so bad. Anyway. That's okay. That's okay. (laughs) It's going into an ISMR thing right now. Yo. Okay, so... (laughs) my third moment um that was one when we won uh the world cup not just because because we won um it was, was in two, in 2009 in 18 18, 18. yeah 18 okay okay in 18 <laughs> and not just because we won but the this is the the same thing as you the atmosphere the, yeah the energy and especially because I was in Paris and I was on the Champs-Élysées Avenue and uh, whoa, that was huge. And I remember I was with my parents and we were like, where are we going to see the match? And um, like I go, I went out of the metro of the subway yeah, and um I felt this thing, you know, like people were just jumping and screaming and people were crazy. Yeah. And also it was sunny because we were in July, which is also a good thing July. when you go to Paris. And um I remember that the French team had scored four goals, right? And uh, <laughs> for the last three goals, let me let me explain. Hear. Yeah, uh, I got beer everywhere. A beer. Beer, yeah. Beer everywhere because I'm not, I'm quite small, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people around me were like real Are adults. You, you were like, allowed to. Oh, no, I, I was not uh, drinking. Not, not, not you, but um, like, because I know that there were some control at the you know, oh, yeah. barriers and things like but that. But beer, I think that was okay. okay. Beer, I, I think that was okay because... I thought, I, I thought it was not allowed, so yeah. It was not in the street. Well, it was in the street because there were too many people, but we were in a um, kind of cafe. 
Oh, okay. But too, m too many people in the cafe, so... Okay, okay, okay. Kind of in the street. And, like, yeah, it was funny, you know? When you when you got a beer on you, it's not always funny, but... That is sticky. But there, I was funny because we were like, yeah. okay, I don't care, you know? We won. <laughs> it's just after yeah. you realize that you got beer on, yeah. on you, you're like, <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Yeah. But that was cool because everybody was singing and, you know, everybody was just proud. Uh, to be French. Yeah, because that was happening, you know, again. For and like football is a ago. big thing in France, actually. And especially for the World Cup. Yeah. Because also, maybe you didn't hear, uh, but we lost um, the, the European... Euro. Yeah, yeah, well, they... European against Portugal, team. I think. Yeah, that was yeah. Like Portugal. Yeah, like, really sad and yeah. like World Cup. That is the thing, you know. It was a it was a revenge. <laughs> Maybe not a revenge, but <laughs> that was cool, you know. Uh, actually, for the World Cup, I was not in the Champs Elysees. I was um. Oh, sorry, my mic. I was in a in a city near my my city. And we had a giant screen, you know. Yeah, I know. With my dad, because um, we couldn't go to Paris because my dad w was working after that. So, yeah, we stayed here, and the the way back home. So we we drove, and people were like jumping on bus things, like people in the in the roundabout. Yeah, they so were like, crazy. Just the thing, you know. And whoa, like we got back, and yeah, that was really fun. And I've got videos. Maybe I don't know if I'm going to post that on the the IG yeah. story just to show you guys because maybe I do have some some videos yeah. about that. I've so, I, I've got a picture where we see all the people in the Champs Elysees the... Avenue where we can walk, and actually that was pretty insane because we can't walk on the Champs Elysees Avenue because yeah. usually yeah. there 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 are cars and buses and. Yeah, traffic. taxis. Yeah, yeah. So going to show you guys that because that is insane. And then <laughs> in September, what happens? Some, uh, how do you say that? Uh, people protesting it? in the streets. Oh, that was the beginning. So that was really bizarre. <laughs> bizarre. Bizarre. Weird. Actually, I didn't. Um go back to Paris for a while after that. Uh, so when I went to Paris again, it was like, that was weird. You know? Chaos. The last time was, the last time was better. <laughs> Just <laughs> So yeah, the World Cup. Yeah, that's it. Period. Do I even have another moment? I don't know. Let me, let me think about it. Oh yeah. Because I think this is the same as you. Uh, getting our oh. high school diploma was degree, yeah, was great because first of all we worked for three years, so having it was great. But the the party we did after was also great because we were with all our friends, yeah. and it, it was also the a, the birthday of another friend. So yeah, that was that was great, and we did a pool party. And we did eat Amazing. a lot. And actually, <laughs> fun fact, guys. Um, do you know the um, our pictures? Picture, sorry oh. for the for the WhatsApp dude um, logo. It was. It is actually from a photo we took that day. Yeah, that so... that was. I I can remember, and we were. That was crazy because it was like just in a movie. You, I remember that was with, with a friend because we take the bus and we took the bus, sorry. And um, we were like very stressed to see if we succeeded. Got, yeah, I know. And we were like, oh my God, we Why? studied for three years and then you realize it's done, you know, you're going to college. Yeah, and oh my God. That was the thing, you know, and, and then the party and amazing. And the birthday and everything, so yeah, yeah. the pool, the pool, yeah, that so was getting our diploma was cool, 
And then we went home and I did through all my assignments and lesson into the trash. <laughs> the end. And also of it was the, the same summer. It, it was also the same summer that we went to the <laughs> south of France. Yeah. yeah. And I was I I I, I liked um this summer. It was in 2018 also. 19. 18. 19. 19? Yeah. 19 we got our degree in 2019 because we the first yeah. time we got to go yeah you're right like, yeah yeah 19. anyway and then uh so we went to the south of france and that was so cool because it was the first time that i went uh without my family same and you know like uh also the mosquitoes. I don't know if I pronounced it well, mosquitoes. but the, the mosquitoes, man. Oh, they're they, bad. Yeah, they these are bad, bad guys. And <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh my god, that was a good memory, but at the moment, not that good. Actually, so, I don't even remember being bitten by mosquitoes because yeah, I think I'm um, I'm used to that. Yeah, but I'm not. Can you remember? <laughs> She, yeah, you can. She also, <laughs> went, she also was uh, bitten by a a wasp, a wasp, oh, yeah. and uh, because there was there were sorry a lot of wasp wasp near the the pool, but yeah. So if you go to the south of France in summer during summer, please be careful because mosquitoes and wasp are bad, like really bad, and you can die also. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also. Okay. So if you can remember, the name of the episode is "Best Moment." Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So don't talk about. That. I was <laughs> I was talking about being beaten by a wasp. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But yeah, that was not even the the right verb. Beaten. It's not being bite. Yeah, the, it is t being. St anyway, yeah. touched. Yeah, you got it. you got the idea. <laughs> but uh, that was a pretty cool summer, you know, because it was the end of high school over and you're going to start a new thing. And I can remember that you, Alex, and uh, Louiva, you uh, took my phone while I was doing something else. I can't Did remember. I? I yeah. Remember. And you took a <laughs> you took a you took a video which I probably still got. Um, and it was like, hope you're doing well. I, we don't know where you're going to see this, but did I do? Did yeah. I, yeah. And we I were like, like that how are you doing with college and all the stuff? And I found it like two months after, I think so. Whoa. That was that funny. Great. I do remember that we ate a lot. <laughs> yeah. Always. Like it's us. <laughs> that is on a thing. daily basis i do eat a lot eat a lot but this uh yeah here. i can remember you you were like every time okay so when i, I will come back home i need to exercise again <laughs> guys i was eating cheese because i i really like cheese um yeah and they were judging me because at um Snack? Snack time, like 4 yeah. p.m. I was eating bread with with cheese. No, we didn't judge you. It was just like, uh... they were they were all getting cereals or yogurts. And then I can't remember. Ice then cream. finally, I can't remember. Then finally, like most of us, at at cheese, eight, eight, uh, eight. Yeah, like eat, eight, eat, eight, 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 eight. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I loved this video. The only, one, the only one getting cheese for my snack time, but that's okay. You love cheese, like it's in your blood. I really like cheese. As you I guys love should Netflix. try it. Huh? Yeah, as I love Netflix, I was just yeah. saying. My love for cheese is. Wow. So do you have any moments to talk about? I just have one. The okay. Last one. Yeah. Um, it was, well, it's like you, it's not a very specific moment, 
but um, it's when I hang out in Paris because, uh, well, you know, museum exhibitions or just picnic with your friends, that is always something good. And um, I'm still miss the city because it's been like the city is gonna break your heart. <laughs> That okay yeah i can remember thank you <laughs> uh, but uh, i <laughs> okay i kind of miss this city because it's been more than a year now and yeah i just miss you know, hang out i remember i have a friend actually we like just text and we were like hey are you free can we just hang out in paris any always mostly say yes and you know we just walk not doing something very special. yeah i like to do that special. and you walk and you talk and oh walk and talk walk and talk yeah and uh and oh, that yeah. is a song too yeah oh, yeah. Uh, also dude um alex is crazy of memes but also music and most of the time when you talk she always sing in her head or oh, have a meme. That, like <laughs> I can I can sing like live. <laughs> yeah, so I just uh also Paris, I forgot. Well, there is this known Paris, but that's not Paris, Paris, you know. But also um once I remember that was probably one of my first time in Paris, but my dad uh and I uh we just walked by night in Paris and that was crazy because I was really really young yeah I was like about seven and my dad is a Paris man you know he he got Paris in his blood he lived in Paris uh for he doesn't want to move out yeah and um and he showed me you know um where he grew where he grew up sorry and I don't know. I feel like it was so cool. And the night, uh, they are. The night mm, oh my God. has come. <laughs> there are uh, not yeah, many God. tourists. Yeah, thank you for the. Um, You're welcome. You're welcome. Chill song. Maybe we're going to do a chill song one day. Ooh. One day. Teaser. Who knows? Anyway, uh, Paris at night. <laughs> What? I also have one question. What do you learn from all this best moment? Have you got any lesson, any I tips, did. any anything for us? Uh... The thing I learned is be present. Be like, present. Yeah. Enjoying the moment is being present. And by being fully present, you can be fully alive. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> Being no okay that sounds cliche but that that is true i mean for me that will be no nothing is taken for granted mm. um because you know i just said that i wish i could go back um in paris and just hang out and that seems easy but because we we don't live really far away from paris well, yeah like one hour and yeah that, that it but um we're in a pandemic so that is complicated even if you know like okay i'm wearing mask and there is always this thing and even without the pandemic you like nothing is the is, same like yeah you can't leave a moment twice like i wish we could go back when we didn't have like the virus because yeah just go to the subway don't really care about touching things even if it, these are gross you know but just mm -hmm. being here. And also, another thing, guys, is um, be open to every possibility. Because, uh, as I was saying uh, with my story about my grandparents, I plan to go to Disneyland. And then my mom told me, nope. So, okay, I was sad. But then, you know, just see what can be a solution and just don't stay sad because of the yeah. thing you know and i feel like um 
I've experienced those things where I was sad because uh, I was planning to do something and it didn't happen, but then yeah. something better came. And also, for example, we're young and there is a party and you can't go because you're not allowed. Maybe your parents say no, uh, but that's okay. You know, just don't say like, oh my God, I'm just going to, I'm going to spend the night, the night alone. alone. Yeah. Just can be a good way, you know, and also yeah. it's, you know, sometimes it, it can be as good as the party, you know? Yeah. It's not because you're not, you're alone that. Anyways, that, that was cliche, but that was it. Yeah. Just enjoy the little things. I think that is what we like we need to um not understand but yeah remember about this episode it's like enjoying the little things mm. and also don't um spend too much time on the past i know that sounds weird because we're doing this right now but uh, you know like oh my god uh, uh i wish i could live that again well first of all yeah, we can just because create new yeah. opportunities to have that feeling again yeah and be prepared because even if it's complicated right now there will there will always be something new and maybe a best moment will come out um in a few days weeks something now. greater yeah yeah so that's it i agree with that like be be ready to receive yeah and finally say. I think that would be great if you guys, dudes, can uh, do that. Um, you know, just um, take a few minutes to remind yourself of your best memories ever. And I know it can be hard. That was hard for Alex. But um, <laughs> you can Stop check your me like that, please. <laughs> You can check your pictures or whatever, but just make a list in your head or in a paper on on a paper. Um, it can be very specific or not as our stories. And also, also that is really important. If you have some good memories with people you don't talk to anymore, that's okay. You still um, can like um, enjoy remember the, the, the yeah. good things. Yeah, you don't have to deny them um you have good time with these people and uh and now you just move on and that that's part of life that so, is the process yeah yeah so yeah that was that was really and you can share you your stories on the hashtag with subdued that will do you d yeah or comment on our yeah, you guys, please don't be afraid to, yeah. <clears throat> sorry, comment because I know sometimes some people are, are like, I don't want to comment because like that is, that is scary, but yeah, we don't really mind. So whatever you, you're saying, you can say, we were, be, we, we, we're going to be happy to answer it also. Yeah. So absolutely. we're going to end this episode. That is very sad, but um, we had fun. Yeah, we had fun. I'm tired now. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun and uh, yeah, don't like, don't be afraid to um, share your, your stories. And also, can you guys review us on Apple podcast, please? Because that is really sad. No one is re reviewing us. So yeah. But thank you for listening because yeah, I'm still... Uh... I should have said that at, at the beginning, but um, thank you for listening to our podcast. Like we saw people from Lithuania. I don't even know yeah. how to pronounce the name in English. I'm sorry for you guys, but thank you. And also people from Argentina. Argentina. Thank you. And thank you for the UK, UK's listeners. Like well, basically, you guys thank are you, crazy. thank you. Just basically, thank you. Yeah, not gonna <laughs> do all the countries. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, but Guatemala. Thank you, <laughs> Mexico. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this one, and um, don't forget to yeah to share, to like, and share it with your friends, especially. So yeah, yeah. Bye bye, bye, and 
have a good day or night.